Jeffrey, it's great to be with you. Great to have you here, Mark. Mark, uh, I know you, what the topic is. I'll let you bring it up. It's one of my favorite topics. So uh, I want to talk about, uh, you know, directors. And, you know, sometimes directors and officers get sued by shareholders. And, you know, what can you do to protect yourself? And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes directors are insiders. You know, they're the uh, majority owner of the company. They control the company. And sometimes they're independent directors. And sometimes they're just... Uh, minority directors, but uh, here's a case that recently was decided which shows how sometimes directors can protect themselves. Uh, of course, uh, if you are serving on a board, make sure you've got director and officer liability insurance coverage to protect you in case you get served. You know, you may be asked to serve on a, on a board because of your uh, knowledge and experience in, in, in business, but in this case, it actually involves State Street, and there was a pension fund that invested in State Street, and uh, they brought what's called a derivative action. Now, there's two types of lawsuits one can bring. One is a direct action. Let's say I'm a president of a company and I get fired, and uh, I sue the company uh, uh, claiming that I am uh, have a wrongfully terminated. That's a direct action. But the other type of action, derivative action, is more complicated. That's when the harm is not to an individual, but instead the harm is to the company. So a couple of quick examples. Uh, let's say uh, directors and officers take excessive compensation. That's considered a harm to the company. Let's say that a particular uh, officer uh, steals money from the company. That's a harm to the company. And when the harm is to the company instead of the individual, there are all these complicated rules about uh, what it takes to bring such an action. So, and they're quite common, these derivative actions. So you can't just bring a lawsuit. The first thing you have to do is serve what's called a demand, a derivative demand, and then the board, the highest authority in the company, has a right to investigate that demand, because remember this is a claim on behalf of the company, and the board gets to decide under certain circumstances whether the claim uh, should be able to be brought. So in this 